I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. In any Word document, click the File tab and choose Info. Off on the right you see the document's properties. These items were controversial many years ago. You see, document properties store information about the document, such as the author, the person or entity who owns the copy of Microsoft Word. People were fearful that this metadata, that's what it's referred to, could be used for nefarious purposes. Well, let's do so. Most of this information is trivial as to how long you've worked on a document, its timestamp, file size, and other details. To set the information, click the Properties menu button thingy here and choose Advanced Properties. Use this dialog box to set or remove various properties settings for your document. For example, the author. I could write in here, George Washington. And for the company, I could write Federal Government. Click OK to save. Now check the property sheet. See the data? What's even better is that you can use this information in your document along with other trivial tidbits. It's called, brace yourself, Document Properties. <laughs> click the Insert tab. In the text group, click the Quick Parts button, which I believe Quick Parts is just a catch-all for things that don't go anywhere else. Choose Document Properties, and then Author. Now this goober here is a content control. It's not really text, and it's not really a field. No, it's a content control. You can edit it, of course, but the tag thingy here clues you into its special nature. And that content can change depending on various factors I don't understand, so I won't mention them here. To delete the item, you have to click on its tag, then press the Delete key. If you insert an unused document property, so I'll choose Category, no one uses it, and it shows up as a blank, a placeholder. Now, if this document were a template and the template were opened by someone who had a category item in their property sheet, it would be filled in with that data. Or you can fill it in yourself. File. Info, Advanced Properties, and for the category, I'm going to write Random Stuff. Okay, so back in the document, you see the content control filled in. Neato! Beyond these properties items, you can stick other document information into your document, such as the file name, which I cover in another Word Tips video. And if you don't see the link below, then the video hasn't come up yet. It's coming soon. Stay tuned. Word 2016 for Professionals for Dummies also covers content controls. They're pretty nifty, so check it out soon.